is me, Nadia. I've decided to drop my nickname. I don't know. <laughs> I'm currently filming this on February 14th, Valentine's Day, which means this video probably won't get up till June. <laughs> I've been wanting to make more videos for my second channel here, my secret club, but I've been so busy, I literally don't have the time to come up with just quirky things to do. Plus, I don't do anything in my personal life that I can just be like, oh, I'll film this and put this on my second channel, it'd be fun. Like, I don't, I made a point to say on Twitter, I literally am just sad and tired all the time. Where's the entertainment in that? Anyway. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna give a little painting tour of the paintings I did in quarantine. Remember the quarantine arc of 2020? You remember that? Yeah. Let's show off my poorly done paintings. Let's see if I can remember which order they go. Did I date this? No. I'll just try to remember. My hair is in my mouth. I know. This one. Oh gosh, this is... Yikes. This is a painting. Ta-da. This was something else, but I think, what did I do? I think I repainted over it. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. I'll do like a pan and zoom in thingy about But this is this. I don't know what it means. I just wanted to draw some dude with flowers. Not flowers. What are those? Butterflies. Butterflies. Also, I think this is the first time I ever started to draw guys with lips because I don't normally. I, I do now because BTS, whenever I draw them, they have very prominent lips part of their facial features to recognize nice who's who and now i'm incorporating that more with my style when it comes to drawing characters but i think this was like the first time i ever like shaped out the image of lips on a man it's sparkly it's a sparkly it's sparkly i like the butterflies but other than that everything else is just kind of is just ugly that's because i hate everything i do anyways next up i think is this i could be wrong i don't know but i'll just show this it's inspired off of perks of being a wallflower i watched that movie for the first time during uh the quarantine arc and i loved it i s was sobbing i was bawling my eyes out and i just this one seems particularly spoke to me particularly logan lerman's character he just starts like crying he's like stop crying stop crying stop crying. like that hit me like i felt that like this oh that movie is just I don't know. I love it. It's sad and I love sad things. This is okay. It looked better in my head than when I actually made it. So we got the sparkles. So that's always fun. I think if there's a reason why I chose the primary colors for the colors of the flowers. I can't remember what that reason is though. This was before the home lockdown. Just before I think. I drew Conan Gray. It kind of looks like him. Not really. This man is so talented. I've been following him since his YouTube days. I'm so proud to see where he's going so far. And uh, what did I do? I painted these with watercolors and I don't know what the back is made out of. It's got some like gold, not gold. What is this? Glitter. This should have been the first one. Okay, so I think, oh, I already showed this. I showed this in my sketchbook tour. Never mind. You don't need to see this. Uh, uh, oh, I actually have a date. March 7th. March? April 7th is when I drew this. It's, uh, it's a, it, the title says Swan Lake. So I'm assuming that's what this is supposed to be. Uh, look at the glitter. We love the, we love the glitter on that. I don't know. I just, I love ballet. I particularly love the Swan Lake ballet. I also love the Barbie of Swan Lake, which I know is not at all the same as the national ballet, but you know, it kind of is. Both elite things to view. I really like how this turned out. I mean, there's some things no, you know what? I like the strokes that I did for like, you know, shaping her face and whatever. And like, I'm not really using my words to explain this. There's something about like the way that the paint strokes are on the specific areas that like show this is her dress, the curves of her face and her arms and her hands. Like those are fingers. Like I just, I kind of like how translucent some parts are and then how much darker some pieces are. I don't know. I like this. Um, okay. So this is, Oh, look at this. First of all, look at the eyes. Look how they shift. Isn't that cool? I know it's a little surprise, but um, this is based on the song I Wish You Were Sober because I literally, I love that song. I love all of Conan Gray's songs and that one is one of my favorites off of Kid Crow. I don't know. I think I had a dream where I just, you know, had this idea, but I think I specifically like the eyes. I think they turned out really cool. I think this didn't turn exactly how I envisioned it. Originally in my head, this was supposed to be a digital piece, but I don't mind it being painted. I just wish that there could have been, I don't know. I feel like I ruined her a little bit more with her painting of her skin texture and whatnot. But for the most part, this is pretty cool in my opinion. This one's a little, the message can be very, you know, a lot deeper than what it, you know, the message is pretty deep to be honest. Dua Lipa, she came out with, and, oh my gosh, Future Nostalgia is such a good album. The song, um, 
boys will be boys. I love that song. It has a very strong, important message to it. And um, the one line where she's like, boys will be boys, but girls will be women. I drew this. Um, basically, the message I was kind of going with it is, it, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's a little girl and you can see she's a lot more glammed up than she sh really should be because she's a kid. And also with like the hands or whatever. Like I said, it's a very tough subject but we honestly have grown up with this notion especially with young girls that like they have to grow up faster than necessary because this world does not view them as human beings oftentimes views them as property and just objects and just things to just yeah whenever i look at this a little bit too long uh it does kind of hit me in a way and i didn't really didn't intend for this to be like too deep but there's a lot going on here if anything this is probably one of my most important paintings because it, it does tell a serious story the flowers represent her and like are her like you know her beauty and her youth but like they're not on her i don't know they're they're part of her and then the, the, it's the, min the minimalist color palette I think is very important. I don't know what else to say, but this is this painting. I have one more, one last painting. It's Gail. This was the blueprint for that. Or was that the blueprint for this? I don't remember. Regardless, I really like how this turned out. I really like the line art especially. I don't know if you can see, because I can't really see the viewfinder, but like, um, it looks very, it looks very cartoonish and like, honestly, kind of anime manga stylist. Like it's from a comic page or whatever. I don't know, I really like the way that this turned out. It's turned out a lot better than I expected, to be honest. But yeah, this is my boy, my husband. Tomiyaka-san, thank you. Ah, I love Demon Slayer. I love this man. This is a man. He just has issues. <laughs> Don't we all though? So yeah, those are my paintings. I hope you liked them. I really should go edit because I have to get a video up today. I don't have to, but like I, I, I've been telling myself to. So I guess I'm gonna do that. I'll see you later. Bye. <coughs> oh gosh, <laughs> I'm dying. It's fine.